Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Jordan. I'm George. And today we're going to be comparing the Fiesta ST with the GTA 6. As these cars are very similar in specs and uh, yeah, sort of everything about them. It's something they don't really look at. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we thought we'd kind of go through some of the stats comparing the two and then obviously our personal times and things with them. So we thought we'd start with almost a bit of a top trumps like thing comparing some of the stats with them. So we'll start off with everyone's favourite, the girl 0 to 60 time. The 86 does it in the wonderful 7.4 seconds. And the Astro ST, 6.7 seconds. So a little bit of a difference there, not what most people would have thought looking at the cars, I think, but definitely not. I think it kind of shows it when we go through so the power. 180 brake horsepower from a 1.68 turbo. As opposed to here, because we've got the facelift, this is 205 brake horsepower from a flat 4 Subaru Boxer engine. So a little bit more there, but I feel like you make it up a bit in the turbo, uh, turbo there for your torque, which yeah, is... definitely. I am, what am I, 214 pounds. Yeah, we're quite a bit behind there. We're only at 151 on the A6, so well, kind of lacking me. a little bit there. Yeah, That does surprise me. That's the big difference that a turbo makes to the car, I think. Yeah. That's why a lot of people turbo them, but not yet. We're a little way off of that for me. Maybe one day. <laughs> yeah. But, so obviously then the big question is the weight, because that kind of affects your power to weight difference. On the A6, we're looking at 1,270 kilos. And on the Fiesta, 1,163 kilos. So yeah, the bigger engine adds that bit more weight. But it's not actually a lot closer than I thought, but... I suppose it's the way it is, it's quite close cars. Yep. Other big one is obviously what difference these engines make in the fuel efficiency, so what have you been getting out of yours, John? Everyday driving, not really hooning it sort of to from work around city, I'm getting 38.1 as the trip computer says. Yeah, see I'm a little bit lower than that, I'm on about 32 mpg in this, and again that's just my daily driving, not really going too old out on it. Obviously it could be a lot worse than that if I was wanting it to, but I suppose that turbo makes a bit of a difference, that's always where it's going to be with these ones. Okay, so obviously going through the stats, really on paper, the Fiesta kind of makes a lot more sense, especially when you consider it's a hatchback as well, so you've got a bit more practicality with it. But, obviously, I'm not going to swap mine out for a Fiesta anytime soon, so we should probably go through our own personal times with them, what we think, and bits like that. Okay, so yeah, this is my A6. Obviously, we've just gone through on paper. It's kind of lacking behind the Fiesta quite a bit, but I still love it, and I'm kind of going to try and redeem it a little bit here with a few of the differences. So, obviously, the big difference we're going to have with this is going to be the body shape, because we've got a coupe instead of the hatchback, which does draw a lot more attention. In my mind, it's brilliant because of it. It gives you a much more faster look, even though it kind of doesn't go actually much faster. It looks it, at least. But the other big difference we've got is that this is a rear-wheel drive car. So your automobiles, like purity people, obviously rear-wheel drive is what everyone has to have these days. Do you need to? I suppose that's down to you. I absolutely love it, but I'm not going to tell anyone that you have to have rear-wheel drive. I'm not one of those people. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't change my mind on it. Obviously, I've done quite a few bits to the car as well. We've got some nice bigger wheels because the stock ones are skinny little Prius tyres and... As much as I don't mind sliding out of the rear wheel drive, I don't fancy doing that every morning on my day to work, especially when it rains. Also, we've got a few other body kit bits. Obviously, we've got plenty of videos if you want to go through everything on the car, but overall, I think I've got the car looking pretty much there for where I want it. There's a few little bits I want to do, but in my mind, that's where this car kind of makes up for it all, is it's in its looks mainly, because 
the amount of head turning this car does is absolutely brilliant and I love just driving it around on my way to work on a casual day and the amount of people turning to look at it it makes such a difference and I absolutely love it so main reason I got the Fiesta ST let's be honest if you think of a sports hatch it's what comes to mind it's what everyone talks about it's what everyone's got you know pen on paper it's fast you know it gets the job done it, it doesn't mess around it is, it is a great all-round car I love it it's comfortable it is a really comfortable car the seats if you haven't sat in one they are bucket seats from stock and they are they're great and the fact they're heated as well every morning driving to work just put that on lovely um, obviously it's front wheel drive as well does it make it fun to drive yeah does it make you tense up yeah because it might want to throw you into a hedge or something when you're going down the lane but I wouldn't change it it's, it's so much fun you know obviously the 86 is rear wheel drive and yeah that's a lot of fun you know you can put the put the arse end out but let's be honest you know, gravel car park and a handbrake you know it don't take long for me to uh, to get this guy <laughs> so yeah it, it is it is great car you know like I say I, I wouldn't change it it's a car that I've wanted for many many years but you know as you know engine insurance being young <laughs> yeah that's never fun but yeah I love this car and you know coming down to mods there is an abundance of mods for this there is so many companies that are working for it the good thing is the car is slightly older so there's a lot of companies that have wanted to work with it tuning companies you know you name it there is a company working for it or there is something made for it that's what I love so you know one year you could have one setup of how the car's looking another year you could completely change it and you know it's another car again so yeah I absolutely love it wouldn't change it for the world so on paper the Fiesta ST does win obviously yes it is close between the two cars but if you're looking at tracking a car, the GT86. Yeah, it really comes into its own in that thing because this car is made mainly for the track. It's just the perfect 50-50 weight distribution, the rear wheel drive, low center of gravity thanks to that boxer engine. It's kind of one of those things which it doesn't come out on paper as much. So it's one of those things you really need to actually experience yourself. And obviously, maybe one day we'll get around to trying them out on track against each other. But unfortunately, our budget doesn't quite allow for a nice closed track for us to compare them yet. So, and, uh, you know, obviously COVID. make sure you're liking everything so we can try and get this. But <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of one of those things where on paper, as much as it doesn't seem as close when you look at how much more the ST gets, it kind of really comes into it when you actually take them out, how close it could be between them. So yeah, at the end of the day, it's really just gonna come down to your personal preference. And that's kind of the best thing about the way the car community is, is you can just go for what you want and do what you want. And it's amazing how close some things can be as different as they can be. So that was a small comparison video between the two cars that are very different, but very similar. But yeah, it's different say, oh, we both love our own ones. We more than respect each other's ones. We can't understand exactly why we've gone for them. Exactly. Obviously, we are each stick to our own because we prefer our own cars like any car guy does so yeah obviously thank you for all watching all of this one we've got kind of one thing left to do really because we've both got modified exhausts realistically the best thing to do is compare them and see what you guys think in the comments which one's better because as much as we just say we both respect each other's bills we kind of want to prove each other wrong and say each other's the better one so <laughs> let's get on with that <laughs> So yeah, make sure you obviously let us know which one of those exhausts you think sounds better in the comments below. And obviously, also let us know which one of the cars you kind of prefer out of the two. Which one you would buy if it was your money. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.